Well, hey there, and welcome to Wedding Planning Simplified and Unmistakably You. We are live here today from uh, Unmistakably You in London, Ontario. And normally we're just in our Facebook group, Wedding Planning Simplified. So if you're joining us from there, welcome. And if you are catching us just on our Unmistakably You page, you're getting a special treat today. We thought we would stream to both locations today just to try to get out there and, uh, and reach as many people as we can, because we have a very special guest with us here today. I'm here with Tamara from Savvy Bridal Consignment Boutique. Tamara, how are you? I'm good. Thanks, Amy. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're, uh, we're here to talk about something that we haven't talked about before in the group, and I'm really quite excited because I'm actually getting quite an education today as well. But we're here to talk today about how to buy a, a gently used wedding dress on consignment. So Tamara is here to tell us all about that. Absolutely. And I appreciate you asking me um, to be here today. Uh, thank you for that. Because consignment for wedding dresses is not something that a lot of people think about, um, right? When they go to, to purchase their dress, they're going the, to going the traditional route. And so consignment just gives them another option. Um, and I opened my shop back in June of 2013. Um, and at that time, there wasn't any consignment bridal sh um, stores around. And so that was the whole kind of reason why I wanted to, to get started. See these dresses being reused um, because it's a very wasteful, right? We get married and we get these dresses cleaned a lot of times, like mine, put it in a box. And then it was useless after um, 20 years. And so um, I like to have or to say that I give girls another option where they can bring their dress in um, and then the brides that are looking for dresses um, can come and find one. And I absolutely love that option. It's definitely something that I think maybe the older I get, the more environmentally conscious and worried about the state of the world I get. And I'm just so aware of how wasteful weddings are. I mean, beautiful and wonderful celebrations, but there is so much in all aspects of a wedding day that tends to be not as green as it could be. So this is a, a great option to talk about. So if you are catching us today and you have questions, I encourage you to uh, to post a comment. I am monitoring comments as best I can. I'm We're using a third party streaming app here. So um, I will see your comment. I might not see your name, but if you have a question, please Please feel free to plug it into the chat or even just say hi let us know you're here let us know that you can hear us and that there's no weird echoes i was telling tamara i'm always so worried about the tech element of things so let us know that you can uh, hear and see us and if you have a question pop it in but so as Tamara was saying, she has a consignment gown shop called Savvy Bridal. And can you just tell us a little bit about how the process of consignment works, Tamara? Um, absolutely. Um, so girls, obviously, they bring their dress to me. Um, I don't outright purchase the dress. Uh, once it sells, then um, the consignee or whoever brought it to me um, gets some money for that dress. Um, yeah, and like you said, and it's just... Uh, being a bit more environmentally responsible and and having these dresses used again so absolutely and so what is the the process if someone were interested in looking at some gently used gowns uh, so the shop here does run by appointment only um, and so what you would do is you would just send me an email uh, we go through all of the information um, because these gowns are not sample dresses and this is a kind of a very obviously very different from the traditional shops but they're not samples so I, I need to make sure when girls are coming in that they are um, seriously looking for a dress right not just coming just to, to try them on kind of for fun that they're ready to actually say uh, yes to a dress um, so yeah so you just you simply email me uh, go through all the information I like to make sure I have a good selection of dresses in your size and in your budget um, and then we find a time that you can come in I'm flexible with my hours I do typically take appointments from Monday to Saturday um, and I do um, three to four evenings a week um, normally so that's amazing. And so someone who's interested in a consignment gown might be concerned about lack of selection. Is that something that you can kind of speak to in terms of how many options you might have? 
Absolutely. Um, so yeah, and that's what, again, what makes it unique here is that First of all, the size range, I can go from a size zero all the way up to sometimes 24, 26. So when brides come in, they can actually put on a dress that fits. Um, and um, most often I have, I carry about 200 to 250 gowns um, in the shop at one time. So uh, there's a great selection. And I hear that, I hear that a lot when girls walk in, they're like, wow, I didn't expect to see uh, so many dresses and I didn't expect to have so many options to try. Um, so, um, and everything, all the different shapes and everything is very current. Uh, four to five years old is about the oldest that I will accept a dress. Okay. Um, so you know that you're, when you're coming in, you're actually getting, um, like I said, nice current style. Um, the classics sometimes too. Um, yeah. And I'm mother of the bride as well, which I should mention, but um, I also have about 200 formal mother of the bride mother of the groom dresses so um, well, I didn't realize that yeah yeah okay so if I were making an appointment to come in you're obviously going to get some information about my price range and the shape and and size that I'm looking for you're going to pre pull some gowns how long does a typical appointment last if I'm trying on a number of different gowns uh, I schedule appointments for an hour. Um, sometimes we will go over the hour by a little bit, but within an hour, we can actually get through quite a few, quite a few dresses. Um, and yes, and I do, and I get size and I get budget. I don't always ask for style of dress because not every bride knows. Um, and I think it's okay. To, I think it's good to come in with an open mind sometimes because it may be something that you weren't expecting to love. Um, and so if you're, if you're open to trying on the different styles, then uh, it opens up a lot of different options to you. Absolutely. I know when I tried on the dress that I ended up buying, I looked at it on the hanger and my actual comment to the person helping me was, oh, well, that looks matronly. And then I put it on and I was like, oh, actually, that's not matronly at all. My boobs look great in this dress. <laughs> so I, being, being open minded is definitely really important. Yeah. Um, now, as you mentioned, uh, you have gowns in all different sizes, and presumably a lot of them have been altered already. So is that something that is a concern to someone coming in if they're looking to have to maybe undo alterations or do different alterations? So I always get that information from my consignee when they bring it in. So I know what's been done to each dress. Um, and... Um, I have a very good idea of if, whether they can be taken out or not, because a lot of good seamstresses actually do tuck in the seams. Um, so if they want to bring it out, it's possible to do that. Um, obviously, it's a dress by dress basis. So um, I will know when they're trying them on, whether or not it can be altered to fit them. Okay. And you did mention as well when we were chatting before that you have quite a number of gowns that are brand new with the tags still on. How does that situation happen? I do. Um, so multiple reasons. Um, but the number one reason is that um, brides will end up with more than one dress, um, whether their first dress was an impulse purchase, um, or, you know, sometimes venues change, our size can change. And if you buy your dress too soon, um, it may not, you know, fit when the time comes. So um, for that reason, I get a lot of girls bringing dresses that still are brand new with tags. Um, some of them actually just go to the bridal store and bring it from there to here. Uh, haven't even tried it on, haven't it just, they hand it over and say, please try to sell this, right? Um, and yeah, um, so there's a lot of a lot of brand new dresses. And the last couple of years, like I was saying, Amy, haven't been the best with the weddings mm -hmm. and things happening and venues changing and stuff. So um, a lot of girls have ended up buying another dress um, just to kind of fit what their wedding ended up being. So. And I know I've seen that a lot with my couples as well, whether their venue changed or their guest count dramatically dropped or, you know, yeah. whatever it is. So really nice to know that there are lots of brand new options as well. Absolutely. Um, so if you can speak for a minute to just kind of general budgets and price ranges, I know that it's probably impossible to say this is our range because I'm sure you have quite a wide range, but how does the process of pricing a gown work? And this might be actually interesting information for anybody who's watching us that maybe has been married already and is interested in consigning their gown as well. So if you can talk a little bit about how that process of pricing a gown works, that would be great. Absolutely. So uh, again, 
it is a dress by dress basis, like you said. Um, and it's based on the designer, the um, the purchase price, the alterations that were done. There's a lot of things that go into how dresses are priced here. Uh, pricing begin like I, I do have dresses that can be can run from 200 to 350, um, but the average price is about 550, um, and the most expensive dress. Uh, it used to be I would cap it at a thousand, um, but now the most expensive I have is about twelve fifty. So um, still very budget friendly, um, and and yeah, and a wide a wide variety of, of pricing. So okay, and I'm sure that that's a dramatic percentage off of what you would pay for this gown from a traditional bridal shop. Is there a, a typical percentage you kind of use as a guideline or is that also impossible to answer that's kind of a hard one to answer yeah actually. <laughs> yeah um because it is it just depends like i mean again on the designer and on the um on the purchase price and and everything like it just it just varies um but i would say half price is pretty fair um what you're going to to pay um for a dress here Amazing. So we've obviously touched on the um, investment benefits of purchasing a gently used gown and the environmental sort of uh, consciousness element of things. Any other advantages that you see a lot of people really taking, uh, taking into account when they purchase consignment? Um, one big one is uh, the fact that they can leave with the gown. So if you have a short engagement, um, you know, and I do, and I get a lot of elopements that come. Um, okay. So they know as soon as they walk in, if they find their dress that they're, that they're leaving with it. So um, it can help those last minute brides. That's a really strong point there as well, because I know that we've been seeing a lot more elopements uh, mm -hmm. since the uncertainties of COVID as well. So being able to get a dress immediately as opposed to having to wait six to eight months in a traditional gown shop. That's a, a real benefit too. And now, sorry, you, oh, sorry no, the, one I, the one other thing that I was just going to mention is, um, and I know I talked about sizing, but um, when, when they can actually fit into a dress, right? That's a big thing for a lot of girls when you go in, like everything seems to be that sample size. We're not, we're not all the sample size. And so it's hard to visualize what is this going to look like um, you know, if, I, if I'm trying it on in an eight, but I need it in an 18. Um, yeah. And you're kind of, you're, you're blind, you're blindly um, ordering a dress. And whereas here you can put it on, you see how it fits, you see the style. Uh, so yeah, that's a huge benefit um, for my brides as well. For sure. And I know I was just chatting with one of my brides a couple of weeks ago who has found a dress that she thinks she loves, but the sample size just doesn't work. And it's that's an incredible leap of faith to take when you're making that kind of a financial investment. And then you're waiting for months and months and just the anxiety that that kind of invokes when yeah. you're not sure if you're going to love what you've ordered. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when someone comes to you and finds their dress, you were mentioning that you are uh, flexible in terms of being able to hold it for a little while so that they have time to really make that decision and not be sort of pressured into something. Absolutely. I call it my 24 hour rule. Actually, when girls come in, I really encourage them to walk away um you know sleep on it take a look at the pictures because i picture taking is something i really to encourage here because you got to be able to look back and see what you know how the dress looks and remembering how it feels mm -hmm. um if they want to put a hold on it uh it's a 50 dollars deposit that can be put down on dresses here and that's good for seven days so they can you know walk away if they're going if they have other appointments if they want to just you know make sure that um it, you know be 100 percent sure that this is their dress uh, and that's all it takes. It's a $50 hold for seven days um, so that they don't make an impulse decision. That's that's amazing <laughs> based on the fact that you see a lot of those, the results of those impulse decisions coming through the door. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 
If a, if a bride has decided on a gown, she is getting a gown that has been cleaned prior to being consigned. What else might she need to know when she leaves? Like she doesn't have to take it to a cleaner, but you have recommendations in terms of alterations and are there ever repairs that need to be made or anything like that? Um, not very often. I'm very careful about the dresses that I bring in. Um, I like them to be pristine uh, so that they are basically ready to wear, right? Clean and pristine. Those are my two things. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, once you take the dress, because it is, I mean, this the dress that you've tried on is the dress that you leave with. Um, and I do have recommendations for a seamstress. Uh, some people do come in already knowing where they want to go. Um, you know, to have their repairs done. The only thing I, I always encourage them is just make sure they are um, a professional wedding dress seamstress. And that it's, you know, when you walk in, you see wedding dresses and you know that that's what they do um, mainly. So, right. Yeah. And so we we talked just a little bit before about the process of consigning a dress and how you work together with someone who's bringing in a gown to come up with a, a price. Um, just to kind of come back to that topic for anyone who might be interested in bringing in a gently used gown. Um, once you've determined that price and you have the dress in your possession, do you have like a, a time frame in terms of how long that contract is good for if the dress doesn't happen to sell? And then sort of secondary to that, if the dress does sell, what does that process look like for the person who consigned the dress to you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I do. It's a six month minimum. So when somebody brings a dress, I guarantee giving them at least six months to try to sell it um, because sometimes it just takes the right person to come through the door. Um, but I will try for up to a year if a dress has had um, has had enough interest. Um, once the dresses sell and once it's paid for, because I do offer my brides a payment option if they need it, uh, they can take um, two to three months to, to pay it off. Uh, and once it's paid, the owner of the dress, um, I just forward their money, just a quickie transfer, and it's uh, it's sent over to them. Um, and that process is done. For dresses that don't sell, and it does happen, I mean, I, you know, I can't sell them all, um, the the owner has to come back and pick it up. Um, okay. So then that way they can, you know, take it somewhere else. If they want me to donate on their behalf, I can do that. Uh, but I can only try for so long. Um, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Styles okay. change. So. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them all current. Well, that is, I, I mean, I've learned so much. This is such an interesting topic that I, like I, I mentioned, I actually really didn't know that much about. So is there anything though that I didn't ask that we should make sure to highlight? Um, maybe my location would be good. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the shop moved um, just in January. Now I am located at 6850 Wellington Road South. Um, I'm actually just about nine kilometers from the 401 or Costco. So a nice, uh, easy location to find. Um, and if people want to follow me or find me, I am on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, so they can do that um, as well. And I, and I post, it's something that, they should know too, they can actually go to my Facebook page and look through albums of dresses. Mm -hmm. I, I try to keep them very current so they can see what's here, um, the different sizes that I might have. Um, and, uh, and they can always message me through there or they can send me uh, an email. I know I've been seeing some very beautiful dresses that you've posted that have been coming in lately. So yes. it's, yes. it's, I kind of want to come out and just check out your stock just because it looks like you you have some lovely things you do I <laughs> yes. do have some beautiful dresses yeah so for anybody who wants to make an appointment they send you an email contact you through social media or on your website and make an appointment to come out to your shop on absolutely. Wellington absolutely Fantastic. Well, Tamara, I thank you so very much for your time today. It has been really educational and uh, I, I love all of the pretty things and gowns are, are definitely one of my favorite parts. So thank you for talking us through an option that maybe some people haven't considered before, but hopefully will now. Yeah. And I appreciate that you helped me to get that word out because it is the truth. It's not the first um, line that most people will take, but I, I hope that this will open up their eyes and they realize that they do have a, an option that is um, more budget friendly and uh, and a little bit better for our environment. So.
Amazing. Yeah. Well, hopefully you'll have some uh, people contacting you and continue to pair brides with their perfect gowns. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye.